What's up guys, it's your boy Damone, and welcome back to another New World video. I know I ain't seen y'all in a while. <laughs> Just been vibing, kind of waiting for these server merges. Uh, but today, I wanted to talk to you guys about the overall state uh, of New World. Um, I don't want to direct this towards people who are on high pop servers, because the rest of us who are on low pop servers are having a completely different experience. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk about some things and address some things that a lot of players are probably feeling, such as like burnout and stuff like that, and kind of how to really tackle that as well so if you guys just started a new world this also doesn't apply to you because you guys still have plenty of stuff to do uh, this is catered more towards my people that have been playing since launch and are just trying to hold on <laughs> by the the thread of your pants just to 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 make it until the next update all right so the biggest thing in new world right now uh, that plagues us is we had a long series of bugs and <laughs> exploits and things of that nature that kind of killed a lot of the morale of the player base, which is understandable, uh, or which is understandable, I should say. Uh, the biggest thing, though, is to also understand that New World is still in its infancy, meaning that they still have a lot of stuff. There's probably even more stuff coming in the December update, followed by the January update, February update, so on and so forth. With that being said, um, their strategy in the alpha was to add pretty insane content updates about every month. Um, and it seems that they're trying to keep that update schedule present. So what that means is, even though you might not have anything to do right now, that doesn't mean you're not going to have anything to do in the future. Is opening chests all day for 10 hours a day every day to get trophy mats that you can't even use because the furniture is broken? Absolutely. <laughs> is it fun? Probably not. Well, it's fun in the beginning until you start to get to 600 gear score, and then it's probably not. I think that the biggest thing that we can do as a player base is instead of forcing ourselves to basically log in every day and complain about the situation <laughs> that it, it is what it is, is to just kind of take this from a lesser approach. And what I mean by that is, let's say your routine every day is to log in, do chest routes in Mirkgard, chest routes in, you know, Reekwater or any 60 plus zones because you guys are farming for trophy mats for profit. Then you set a specific amount of time that you do that every day. Um, if your guild is still fighting wars, uh, again, talking to my low pop people, if you guys are still fighting wars or still doing OPR, or if you can even do OPR, then do those things. After you get that segment done, then what you're going to do is log off <laughs> and be done. Um, again, there's kind of no point in beating a dead horse because um, there's still more content to come, meaning that as they continue to release content, our primary responsibility and objective, I guess, is to just make sure that we're prepared for that content when it does come about. So when they do release raids, when they do unlock new dungeons, when they do raise the gear score cap, when they do introduce arena, when they do introduce new weapons, these are all the new features that you just kind of want to be in the prime position to do what you need to do. Because as of right now, uh, as the first two weeks of December pull upon us, I think this is going to be the best time for you to really just take a break and kind of take a few steps back from new world and just kind of chill reconnect with your family members the people that you've been might you know you might have been avoiding uh, as you've been putting loads and loads of hours into this game uh, you can kind of just reconnect and, and get ready for the next phase of new world as things come about and i think that that's kind of like the biggest thing to really understand is even though it's kind of dead right now it doesn't mean it's going to be dead forever meaning that what we're doing right now is opening chests and you know farming genesis or doing the dungeons now that our gear scores are high enough but that doesn't mean that that's going to be the end all be all so i think one of the biggest mistakes that we can make is treating this as if there's never going to be new content in this game when like i said new world is just in its infancy stage so to answer a lot of your guys' questions, because you guys have been seeing me play a lot of different games as of late, am I done with New World? Absolutely not. What I am doing, though, is playing other games while we wait for New World to release the next wave of content, release the next wave of stuff, let us know information on the server merges, you know, so on and so forth, so we can continue to carry this torch. Um, as I told you guys before, my strategy is and never will be to bash the game and, you know, bring <laughs> an overall negative state, when the fact of the matter is, is we could just place something else for the time being while we wait for the updates, and as the updates come out, then, um, you know, we can continue to push forward. So, 
Again, if you guys are curious as to what I'm playing on the side and while we're waiting for this, uh, you guys can expect me doing content for Icarus, uh, content for Myth of Empires, because we just recently started playing that game, and that game is freaking awesome, by the way. And then some other games like Elden Ring, State of Decay 2, 3, excuse me, Dying Light 2, amongst some other random titles as we play. For me, this is a marathon. This is not a sprint, so I'm not expecting to get everything done right away. And for those of you guys who might have been wondering, like, D, where are the videos? Where have the videos been? <laughs> I just wasn't forcing content, because otherwise you would have been seeing me make videos about uh, the blades of grass in the field. And you guys would have been like, what the hell is this dude even talking about? <laughs> so anyway, guys, I just wanted to take a little bit of uh, time and talk about a little bit about the state of the game and kind of what to expect in the future. And also address the topic of burnout so if you guys are in a situation where you're feeling burnt out please uh, don't keep forcing yourself to do the same things take a break play something else on the side and just be patient as the updates start to roll so with that being said guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as always it's your boy Damone and we will see you guys in the next video peace